Hello, hello, everybody out there. I am Joe, a.k.a. Phantom Meeple, as always, on another glorious Sunday morning. Glad to see you all here in chat. Hello to my wonderful mods that are out there. Uh, today, I will be tackling the solo mode of Castles of Burgundy. I'm not necessarily going to teach the entire game, mostly just the solo mode, but uh, I will do my best. I haven't played Castles of Burgundy in a while, and I kind of had an itch. Uh, you know, obviously, no thanks to the pandemic, haven't been able to play with anybody face-to-face, -face really. But I figure, hey, why not <laughs> do another board game stream? You know, it was uh, it was chosen by you all anyway via Twitter poll. So, here we are. Hello, Bones John to you. Thank you for joining me on this Sunday morning. Appreciate you being here. Let me go ahead and switch to the table view, and we will get things started. Alrighty. So, Castles of Burgundy solo mode. Uh, let's see, have you got any board games you can use for your background? Just an idea. Um, yeah, I you, I actually have a green screen for my background. Or do you mean like the background for the overlay? Is that is that what you're talking about? Well, anyway, I'll, <laughs> I'll I'll give you I'll give you a second to to answer that. But uh, so the solo mode of Castles of Burgundy, it's uh, pretty much set up the same way for a two player game. There's just a couple of changes to the game as far as uh, the way you take actions, the way you gain goods and the way you can get hexes off the board. Uh, the overall goal of the game is to complete the player board, uh, fill all 37 hexes and you win. So for those that don't know Castles of Burgundy, basically you roll dice, and based on your dice rolls, you can take hexes, put them in your storage, and then further put them on your player board. Um, in the solo mode, you still roll the dice the same way. You still go through all 25 rounds, but with a couple of changes. Uh, let's see, I thought you genuinely had loads of games in the behind you, so I was just joking. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so the, the, the green screen background behind me is uh, a photo. I, it's actually an old photo of uh, my board game shelves. So I really need to update that. It's actually a couple of months old because I've I've uh, culled quite a bit in the last couple of weeks. So I should update that. But, you know, better background as any. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so on, on, a, on a given turn... <laughs> the green screen tricked me. <laughs> no worries. All right, so on a given turn, you roll the dice, and then you still uh, put your two aside for your actions. You still take uh, the first good from the round pile, put it in the depot, but with the exception is based on the number you roll on the white die, you also have to remove a hex from that particular depot from the game completely. So it kind of... It kind of restricts your choices a little bit and keeps the game moving since you're the only one playing. Um, after that, you still do your two actions as normal, uh, up to and including any Silverling actions that you take to buy black tiles from the center, which cost two. Uh, and the following restrictions are in place for the solo mode. Uh, on the player board, you still place your first castle as normal to, to start out the game. However, in order to only go to other regions, you have to have a ship and then follow the river, build another ship in order to expand into other regions. So it kind of it kind of has that puzzle aspect to the game to kind of keep things interesting. Uh, also, when you place a ship, you get to do an additional action. The goods you get from the game via the ship you can place, you can take from one depot, but then the rest of them are cleared from the game. And then at that point, and only at that point, when you place a ship, you can trade in five goods. Doesn't matter if they're the same, they could be any color goods. And you can take a black tile from the middle and you can add it to your supply face down. And it becomes a wild tile that you can place to complete a region on the board. You lose the building, but at least you get a tile placement. So that's not too terrible. 
Uh, another change from the main game are the knowledge tiles. Normally when you place a knowledge tile, you get those victory points at the end of the game. Uh, the difference being is you get those victory points immediately when you meet the qualifications of a tile. So for example, we've got this number 22 knowledge tile over here, which gives you four points for every bank that's placed on the board. You would get those points immediately and you would tally them up as you go along. Uh, another big change in the game is normally when you complete a color bonus of a section on the board, you would get the round bonus, depending on what round you're in, going from 10 down to 2. You would also get a color completion bonus. Well, that color completion bonus doesn't exist here. Uh, you just basically get the round points, and you would score those immediately. The point of the victory points here is you want to get to you a target score starting at 50. Once you do, your target moves down five points, reset your score, start it again. Uh, the reward for reaching your victory point target is you get a face up black tile from the middle of the board. So that's, a, that's another way to get black tiles onto your board other than buying them with silverlings or getting the uh, face down one from the ship action. Hey, we don't know games. Welcome in, welcome in. Good to see you. I hope you are fine on this Sunday. Uh, last but not least, the other thing you can do on your turn is silverlings. You can straight up buy victory points on a one-to-one -one trade in. And then that's pretty much it. Uh, once you completely fill your board, you win the game. If you don't fill the board, you don't. So it's, it's not a um, it's not really based on how many victory points you get. It's based on whether you can fill your board using the right actions at the right time. So that's pretty much Castles of Burgundy solo mode. If anybody's got any questions while I play, feel free to ask. I will definitely answer them. Um, as I said, this isn't a complete teach of Castles of Burgundy since I'm only playing the solo mode, but if you do have questions about the main game, no issues answering them at all. So let me go ahead and roll my first set of dice and we will get this started. And hopefully it's a good roll. All right, so starting out, we've got the three white dice. So let's take care of that first. So this first good's gonna go into the three depot. But then I also have to remove one of the tiles from the three depot. So I either need to remove the two ducks. I'm referring to the rules because I never remember what the buildings are. Um, or the warehouse to sell goods. Well, considering I'm going to need goods for the middle... I think the warehouse is not going to do me any good here, so that's going to go away. <laughs> we don't know, Cape absolutely butchers a French, French accent. Le Chateau de Bourgeois, or Bourgeonie, or however the heck you say. See, I butchered it too. <laughs> uh, uh, ter terrible French accent this morning. <laughs> but it makes sense playing Castles of Burgundy. All right, so we've taken care of the white three. And then we have a three and a two to take care of. But first, we need to place our initial castle. Now, the question is, where do I want to start? Um, obviously, we can't start down in this area here because we don't have any green castle spaces. There's two up here, but that seems kind of restrictive. The one up here might be promising, but it's going to be super building heavy. But... If I get a knowledge and an animal right off the bat, that could be, you know, 20 easy points in this round. Try and, you know, get me up to 50. Uh, down here, it would be heavy on knowledge, heavy on animals. I could do a mine for 10, but that just seems a little restrictive too, just, just based on victory points. So I think... I think I'm going to start up here. Just because of the two, the two, uh, the three singles up here, actually, no, four singles. We got the animals, we got the building, the knowledge, and the boat. I think that's going to be a good place to start. So there's going to be our initial castle. 
And then we have a three and a two to work with. Well, clearly the two ducks would not be terrible. That would be 12 points. Filling in the tile space and then the two points for the ducks on the tile. So that's not bad for a start. A two would give me another castle, which I don't necessarily need yet. Or the knowledge tile, if I could place a bank. But I don't see any available banks on the board yet. So that might be decent in later game. But right now it'd be purely for the 10 points. Therein lies the problem. And then, of course, I have my workers, which I can manipulate my dice with. But I think it might be a little too early to use those. I really want to get that workshop down there. Actually, that might not be a bad idea, truthfully. Because if I use both my workers to change to a 4, and then the 2 to a 1, place the boarding house, I would get 4 bonus workers and 10 points. <laughs> now we're just talking in French. <laughs> la confiture est dans l'arbre. <laughs> you know, I took French in high school. I probably couldn't translate it without Google Translate at this point, but I kind of know little things here and there. <laughs> uh, but I am I am terrible at French. My my French teacher from high school, Mrs. Peter, would be completely just <laughs> she'd be completely disappointed in me. All right, but I think, so getting back to the game, I think my best move is going to be placing that boarding house for the workers. So we are going to use both the workers. We'll put them away. The three is going to become a four. The two is going to become a one. We'll spend the four to buy the boarding house, and then we'll spend the one to place it here next to our castle, which that's going to give 10 points for the region completion we'll get our four workers replacing the boarding house and i don't think that was a bad first turn truth be told uh, the jam is in the tree you know i knew i knew i knew tree i didn't know what the other word was <laughs> Uh, so we're, we're just we're just gonna be saying silly things in French throughout the stream. That's not that's not a terrible way to go. <laughs> All right, so first turn down, ten points up, not too terrible. Let's go ahead, roll the dice again, see what we get. So we've got a one, a two, and a one. All right, so this good's gonna come up to the one depot. And then we need to remove a tile. Um, watchtower would be four easy points. We're definitely going to need the boat at some point to get to other regions. So I think the watchtower is going to be the candidate to go. All right, taking care of our white guy. Uh, we got another one. Le hamster is sur le beurre. The hamster is in the butter? <laughs> I think I've got that one right. <laughs> uh, geez, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to start breaking out the omelette du fromage here in a second, which technically isn't correct, because that would be omelette of cheese. It would be omelette avec fromage, omelette with cheese. <laughs> I love how Dexter's Laboratory never corrected that. It just it it just went like the whole running gag throughout that entire episode was completely hysterical. Loved it. All right, so we've taken care of the one. We've got a one and a two. I think it's going to be a no-brainer. We need to buy the boat just to keep that on hand. Um, I could use it right now with a worker, get another 10 points, and it would open up this area as soon as I bought another boat. So that wouldn't be a terrible thing. But what could I possibly do with the two? It gives me another castle. And it also gives me that knowledge tile. The knowledge tile is still only going to give me 10 points at this point. 
I also would not mind getting the mine for later on, considering it's probably going to disappear. Uh, let's see, anyone know who Katasan is? I personally don't. Oh, the Baker Meeple bringing out this... Oh, <laughs> you know what? I taught you to say that. That's not even funny. Oh my goodness. So, <laughs> uh, Abby coming out with the movie references. So, <laughs> there, I don't know if anybody's familiar with Short Circuit 2. It's it, it's a it's a terrible sequel to Short Circuit, which is a great 80s movie, but the sequel is even worse. And there's this point in the movie where Johnny Five is trying to teach Benjamin Spanish, and he just pulls out to Mama Hase El Amor Con Mi Pero out of the bag. And it's it, it's technically an insult. It, it kind of translates to your mother's makes love your mother makes love to my dog but it, it it it's supposed to be taken in a in a rather nasty connotation <laughs> oh god i can't believe i had to explain that anyway <laughs> back to what i want to do with the two here i i really think the 10 points is going to come in handy considering i only have three more rolls to get 10 points so I think I think I will buy I will buy the knowledge tile. And we'll call that good for turn two. Alright, turn three. Hopefully this one will fare a little better. Got a pair of fives and a six. So this good tile is going to come to the six. And then we need to remove either pigs or the warehouse. Well, we don't want to sell goods, so I think the warehouse is going to go. We'll take that out of the game. Uh, let's see. Can it be taken in a nice connotation, then? I'm not I'm not quite sure that could be taken in a nice connotation, truth be told. That's, uh, that's, just, that's just a little out there, <laughs> if you ask me. Or, or, or at least that's what my mom would tell you. If I, if I told that to, if I told that to my Puerto Rican mom, she'd probably beat me. <laughs> so I'd say no. Oh, hey, Kato-san, welcome in. Good to see you, buddy. All right. <laughs> yeah, my mom would give me la chancla. <laughs> Toss it at my head. All right, so we've taken care of the six die. Now we've got a pair of fives to deal with. So with the fives, we've got a mine. And let's see, knowledge tile number four. I don't know what all the knowledge tiles do, so I have the rule book right here to remind me what they do. Uh, let's see, the player who adds this tile to his estate receives one worker tile from the supply in addition to the silverling. Each time they sell goods, either via dice or warehouse. All right, so that's not necessarily going to be too useful. What I think, though, I think I'm going to have to. I think I'll buy the mine just to just to keep it on reserve. So that will be one five done. And then with the second five, I think I'm going to have to change it into a three. So that's going to spend two workers. And then we're going to place the knowledge tile just to get that 10 point bump. Because I really want to get one of those black tiles in the middle. Oh, that's what you meant, Bone John. So, so Kato San's a friend of mine, but I don't think I don't think you two have personally met before. <laughs> okay, on to the fourth roll. I could really use a three to place that boat, and of course, I did not get the three. All right, so with the five, we're gonna place this good here. Then we need to remove this knowledge tile from the game. All right, so the white die is done. Time for our actions. So with a two and a four. 
kind of wish I'd have bought those pigs now. Because that would be a nice 14 point bump. And I don't necessarily want to use my workers yet. Because they are definitely going to be in short supply <laughs> here coming soon. <laughs> I could buy the castle, but I'm not going to be able to place it for a while. Uh, I love cakes, why no buy? <laughs> hmm. Dang, dang, dang. So this, this solo mode is actually a lot harder than I anticipated it to be. Really don't want to use that worker, but I think I'm going to have to. So I'm going to spend the worker. The two is going to become a three. And we're going to place the ship. So that's going to be another 10 point bump for finishing. For placing that tile and finishing that region. And then. Since I did place a ship. I now. So let's see, I placed it with a three. So let's see, I never remember what you can do with ships. <laughs> I said I said it's been a while since I played Castle Burgundy. I don't remember if you can only take from the depot you placed in, or is it any depot? Actually, I don't think it really matters, truth be told. <laughs> Normally I have my stuff together. Uh, let's see. Phantom, please specify what you got rid of so I can decide whether to be disappointed in you. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely saying what, uh, what tiles I'm getting ri rid of. <laughs> oh, cake, not can. Okay. Where is... Let's see, where is the ship? Let's see, ship action. Take, okay, any one good, any one depot space. There we go. Alright, so it doesn't matter... So we're going to get one extra good. And for the solo rules, the rest are removed from the game. All right, now we've potentially opened up this lower section here. So that was the three. Now we still have the four to contend with. With the four, I think it's going to be a no-brainer to buy this other boat. Because we can open that up with another three, should we roll it. Hello, Kiki. Welcome in. Good to see you. Just wanted to say have a nice day. I appreciate that. Thank you very, very much for the stop by. All right, fifth roll. Here we go. So for our fifth roll, we've got a two. So this good's going to come over here. And the castle needs to go away because that's the only tile left. That takes care of the white die. Now we've got a four and a six. And I think I've kind of put myself, completely put myself in a bind here. I think with the six, we're going to buy the pigs. So that takes care of the six. And then with the four, I don't necessarily think I can use the four. Unless I change it to a three and place my other ship. But that's going to completely kill all my workers. And then I am completely at the mercy of my dice rolls unless I can get another boarding house in. Uh, let's see. You always take me off guard streaming things I had no idea existed. That's exciting. Well, that's good. I mean, if, uh, if I could introduce somebody to, to board gaming or, I mean, really anything that I stream... That makes me happy, so I appreciate you saying that, Kiki, very, very much. All right, so that takes care of our two. <sighs> we use the six. I think I'm going to have to place the boat. I think it's going to be the right move. And hope in the next round that uh, I get another worker, uh, another boarding house or some more workers. Otherwise, this is going to be a very, very quick game. All right, so we'll go 10 points, replacing the boat. We'll get another good. However, we do have five goods to trade in. So we are going to trade in our five goods. Those are gone. 
And then we get a tile from the middle, face down. I think we'll take... I think we'll take the City Hall. And the City Hall is going to become a wild tile. Alright, and that ends round one. So now the rest of these hexes get to go away. And we get to reset the board for round number two. <clears throat> I will say getting 40 points right off the bat is not terrible. So uh, we might be on our way to getting that bonus black tile yet. So resetting the board for round two. Since we are play technically playing via two-player rules, all of the two spots on the board will be filled in. Uh, let's see. Phantom catches me off guard by throwing away cake. He doesn't realize how big an ordeal that is for me. How am I throwing away cake? <laughs> I must be completely missing something. <laughs> at least I at least I think I am. Sometimes I'm completely oblivious when it comes to like puns and jokes, so you have to forgive me. <laughs> Alright, so just take me a minute here to reset all of the tiles for the next round. Ooh, that knowledge tile might come in handy, the one that just showed up on on the 2 Depot. Because normally you can't place like tiles next to each other. However, that knowledge tile does give that ability, so that might come in handy if I go for it. Really hoping I pull a bank. Pulling a bank would be, I mean not a bank, a boarding house would be amazing right now. But I might just be unlucky here. Yep, and that's what it's looking like. Alright, so this round... <laughs> all of my dice rolls are going to have to be exact. Which may or may not be unfortunate. Okay, set up for round two. Let's go ahead and get our goods tiles out. For our time counter. somewhat neatly okay set up for round two i mean we got five tiles out of 37 <laughs> i hope that's a good thing <laughs> uh let's see i thought you had a tile you got rid of because you said i'll get rid of this cake i may have misheard no i totally did not say cake if i did you know what? i could have said cake sometimes i stumble over my own words I don't even know what language I'm speaking right now. We were speaking French, then we went to Spanish, and then I'm trying to maintain some sense of English. <laughs> so it's very possible I said cake. <laughs> alrighty, alrighty, moving right along. So with the white die, we rolled a one. So this tile is going to come here to the depot, and then we have... Hey, Migzy, what up, streamer? Good to see you, buddy, and you with a subscription. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Every little bit helps. Gets me ever, ever so closer to that first payout. And then I'm going to figure out a charity to donate it to. But that's uh, that'll be a while down the road. All right. So we've placed our goods tile on the one depot. Uh-huh. Let's see. I've been so worked up that you got rid of cake. It turns out that I probably misheard you. I'm so anxious right now and all for nothing. Oh, God. Oh, God. Here we go with the Dale Pancake. <laughs> uh, I'm, I, may, I may or may not have to explain that later on. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's see. So that's going to be a carpenter's workshop or a boat. I don't really think I need the boat yet, considering... I need to make my way up this way or across the board. So I think the boat is going to be out of the game. And that's for, that one's for you, Bones John. I said boat, not cake. <laughs> All right, so the one's taken care of. We've got a six and a two.
Thank you, thank you very much, Migsy, for the host. Appreciate that, good sir. All right, what to do with a six and a two? And I have no workers, so a six and a two is it. I think with the two, we're going to place the pigs. Because that's going to give me eight points for the region completion, four points for the pigs. So that's going to give me 12, which is going to put me at 52. Which is not a bad thing. So now that we cross the 50 point threshold, uh, let's see, is it gain a black tile or place a black tile let's see put it back on space zero immediately after resetting the victory point you may carry out a dice action of your choice oh so i get a free action that's what i get okay not terrible not terrible at all Actually, you know what? I think I missed a complete roll here. So you won't gain victory points as a color bonus when completing a color. and said, choose a tile from the black depot and place it directly on the board. Okay, I haven't been doing that. <laughs> oh, good gravy. Okay, so now I need to fix my mistake. All right, so these are the black tiles I had last round. So... Where's the other one? No, I had another one here. It was not three castles. I know that for sure. Oh, it was this one. Okay, so let me replace that with the castle I removed. I know, read my dang cards and stuff. <laughs> yeah, so... You already beat me to it, Migsy. So let me give you... Let me give a, a shout out to uh, Migs real quick. He is a variety retro streamer, very entertaining stuff. I like him. He's quickly become a friend of mine. So if you're not following Migs and you like retro video games, be sure to give that guy a follow. He is fantastic. I I uh, sometimes guest voice on his stream, and it's just a it's just a wild time. Good stuff to watch. All right, so let's retcon this a little bit here. So last round, I completed this knowledge tile, this building tile, and the two boats. So technically, I would have gotten all four black tiles on the board. And then I just have to place them. Adjacency doesn't matter. So in this case, I think we're going to place the two castles... And then we'll place the mine over here. And then with the warehouse, obviously I'm not going to sell goods. We'll place the warehouse up here. All right. Yay for fixing the mistake. <laughs> I knew I was missing something somewhere. I should have been getting black tiles and I completely wasn't. All right. So that changes a couple of things. So with the start of the new round, since I have a mine, that actually gains me a silverling. All right, now we're on track. <laughs> My apologies, everybody, for completely screwing up the rules. First time playing the solo mode. Professional streamer right here. That's me. <laughs> All right, so getting back to what I was doing. I finished the one. That's right. I was placing the pigs with the two. So that's going to reset the victory point counter. And now the victory point counter now is a target of 45. So it so as you could complete the victory point total, it makes it easier and easier to get that bonus action. Which, now I need to take that bonus action. Which I think I'm going to place this second mine up here. Which is going to give me 8 points. And since that completed a color, that gives me a black tile. <laughs> All right. Now we're cooking with fire. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I think a good move to do would be to take this, anim this knowledge tile. And we're going to put it here. 
So that's going to complete that for another eight points. And it's going to give me four points for, I think, every type of animal I have. I never remember. Let's see, 24. What does 24 do? Uh, the player who adds a saw to his estate receives four victory points for each animal type that has been added. So I get that right now, considering I already have the pigs here. So that's going to be four points there. And then for completing that region, that gets me another black tile. All right, maybe, <laughs> maybe this map is a little easier than I thought. I think we're going to have to go with... Hmm... I think we're going to go with the cows. The cows are going to come here. So that's going to give me three points for the cows. And that completes all of my bonus turns. And I still have a six to use, which is fantastic. All right. What can I do with the six? So with the six, I've got, looks like I've got ducks. And I've got a warehouse. I could buy the warehouse just to just to get the placement up here. Or I could get more points with the ducks. I think I will buy the ducks. I'll buy the ducks with the six. We'll call that good. All right. <laughs> catching up catching up from all my mistakes definitely took a bit. But no big deal. All right. So let's take our second turn in round two. We've got snake eyes and a six. So this goods tile is gonna come here. However, this warehouse is going to go away. That takes care of the white six. Uh, yeah, that's cool. I had fun watching. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Bo Bones John was uh, was watching uh, Migsy's stream the other day. It's it's uh, we we definitely have fun with uh. <laughs> with what we're doing. I mean, mostly it's busting uh, Migs's chops, but uh, overall, I mean, just, you know, some of the, some of the games that he plays, you know, it's, I think, I think it's almost close to like, um, like just, just like a riffing on the game. Like if we were, if we were doing like a, like a mystery science theater or like a riff tracks to, to video games, that's what I would compare Migsy's stream to. It's just, it's just hysterical. Good stuff to watch. All right, pair of ones. What can we do with a pair of ones? I could place the ducks, but then I would get less points if I were to place another set of cows here on the animal hexes. Um, I could potentially... I could potentially fill in the castle hex or this building hex. You know what? I made another mistake. When I placed these two castle hexes, I should have gotten extra bonus bonus actions. And I didn't take them. You know what? I've 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 retconned too far already. <laughs> I'm I'm just I'm just gonna leave it. Uh, that's, that's my own dumb mistake. Read the freaking rules, Joe. Come on. Okay. And that's terrible, because that, 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 I bet you those two free actions are going to completely bite me in the butt at the end of the game. I know it's going to happen. All right, so, with the ones, we've got a carpenter's workshop up there, which isn't terrible, and I don't necessarily want it to go away. What I really need to do is I need to not roll a five. Because this knowledge tile, every time you gain a silverling at the end of a round, you get a worker and a silverling. So that'd be some great way to get some workers back on my board. And I have no way to change them to a five, which is kind of terrible. Uh, let's see. Yeah. I think, I think I'll buy, I think I'll buy the Carpenter's Workshop with the one. And then with the other one, I think I'll place it. 
So that's going to give me 8 points, so that puts me at 31 for the completion. And then the Carpenter's Workshop, the player takes a building tile of his choice from any numbered depot. Um, the church wouldn't be bad, because then I would get a knowledge tile for free from the depot, and I really, really want that too. Yep, I think we're going to take the church. That's what we're going to do. Alright, so that wasn't too terrible. All right, third turn. Uh, there's a great joke about cows. Have you heard it? Oh, oh, very, very good dad joke there, Bones John. I don't tell dad jokes on my channel unless you pay for them. There is a channel point redemption for it. <laughs> Never mind, it's an utter story. <laughs> uh, two back to back. That's fantastic. All right, I'm rerolling uh -oh. that one because that was cocked. Prepare to be disappointed. Oh, and we have the dad joke redeem. All right. So be it. Okay. All right, here we go. What is brown and sticky? Anybody know? It's a stick. Thank you very much. All right, so white die, roll the one. So that good's going to come over here to the ones depot, and then we need to remove something from the one, but since it's empty, we go in clockwise order, so we come to two. With two, I think I'm going to get rid of the castle, because having the uh, like tiles on building zones is a really good knowledge tile, and I want to keep that one in the game. So that takes care of our one. Pair of twos. <clears throat> Excuse me. What can I do with a pair of twos? Doesn't look like I can do very much of the pair of twos, actually. As much as I don't want to place the ducks, it's looking like I probably should. I do have that wild tile there. I could use the wild tile, but I don't think I have any open twos to place in. Other than that animal spot. Alright. Four points is better than no points. So we're going to spend the two. Place the ducks. Ducks are going to give me four points. And then with the other two. I'm going to buy the like knowledge tile. Alright. Turn four. Really kind of wish I had a boat to place. And if I roll a 1, I think that wild tile is going to go for the boat. Alright, so we got a 3. So this goods tile is going to come here. And then we have to get rid of either the city hall, which places an additional tile on the board, or the pigs. I think the pigs are going to go away. That takes care of the white 3. Uh, is there a significance to the river joining the cities? Yes, there is a significance to the rivers. Unless you connected the rivers by boat, you can't place in a region. So, for example, I couldn't place... Um, well, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter since the boats are the only things kind of kind of left over here. But... Uh, like, for instance, I couldn't place down here yet because I haven't actually connected anything by river. But you know what? I think I might have... I think I actually kind of cheated. I might have completely screwed up the solar mode. Because <laughs> technically you can't place in regions unless you've connected them by boat. So, yeah. I'm going to have to play this again, like, correctly. <laughs> uh... Yay, learning on the fly. I should have. I probably should have played this last night before I played this, but no big deal. Ah, <sighs> well, I think I can fix this a little bit. So let me spend my six. I'm going to use the black wild tile to go up there for the six, which means if I get another boat, I can place place it over there with a one. With this five. 
I think I'm going to buy this other knowledge tile. And we will call that good. Uh, however, since I did complete that, that's going to get me another eight points. So that puts me at 43. So close. Uh, it's fun watching you learn this game. I'm learning with you. Hey, you know, as long as we're learning, that's the important part. All right, what do we got? We got a white six. So that's going to come over here. Nothing to get rid of here, here. That workshop's going to go away. All right, four and a three. Well, I need to place a tile. And there's no more knowledge tiles to take, so that church is kind of pointless at this point. But now I just need to pretty much get things out of my inventory, is what it's boiling down to. Uh, hmm. I think I'll use the four, place the church. And the church gets me a mine, a knowledge, or a castle, none of which are left on the board. So that's kind of a wasted action. With the three, I actually don't think there's anything I can do with a three. Because I can't reach this knowledge space yet. So I might actually just have to pass it. Well, that's unfortunate. All right, so that boat's going to go away. Let's go ahead and set up for round number three. Hopefully fix my mistake, get a boat over here. Then I'll be, then I'll be legal. <laughs> but right now, so you know what? It kind of, it kind of makes sense that uh, I actually didn't take these two free actions. However, though, I do have two new kinds of animals on the board, and I don't think I took this knowledge point bonus. So I may have to fix that. I swear, the next game I play, I'm going to do this right. <laughs> I'm normally not this terrible at rules, I promise you. Hopefully we get some good animals. Ooh, we got some more cows. That'll be good for our, our lower region there. Yeah, we got twice the cows. That's actually fantastic. All right, so new black tiles. I think that's a... Nope, that's not a boarding house. That is a bank. Okay, got a caravan... Got another church and a workshop. Not really good on the black tile front this round. Okay, put another castle up. Another mine needs to go on the board. And we'll get some knowledge tiles out get our two boats and then we will be set and boats where's there's my boat bag all right here we go set up for round number three I really need some workers, and I have not seen a single boarding house except for the first one that I got in the beginning of the game. So this is this has been quite the uh, this has been quite the uh, the task. All right, what do we got? So we got a white three. So this good's gonna come over here, and then I think the warehouse needs to go because I'm not about selling goods. So that takes care of the three. Now we have a five and a four to play with. Um, oh, you know what? I have my two mines. That's going to get me two more silverlings. OK, 
Can't forget that at the beginning of the turn. So with the five, I think I'm going to place this knowledge tile here, which gets me a worker along with a silver link at the end of a round. So that might come in handy. Then with the four, with the four, I don't think I can do anything with the four other than buy either a caravan which is an animal or a ship of my choice, or the ship. I do need the ship. Because I do need to fix this mistake over here. So let's go with the ship. Roll number two in round three. All right, so we've got, we got, a, we got a white four. So this good's gonna come over to here, and the market's going to go away. That takes care of that. Six and a four. Let's see. I don't think I can do anything with what I've got. Because I have no workers. However, I do have silverlings. So let's see. I think it's going to be a no-brainer if I spend two silverlings and buy this bank and then use my six to place the bank up here, which just gets me two silverlings right back. So that spends the six. This is completed, so that's gonna give me six points. So that puts me over the threshold. So the target is now 40, and I get a bonus action. With my bonus action, I will fix my boat mistake. We will place the boat, which that's gonna be another six points for completing that. And I get to pull from a depot, which I think there's only two. Yep, maximum is two. So we'll take that. The rest of these are removed. And then I don't have five goods to trade in, so I don't get a wild black tile. That's all right. That was not a terrible, terrible move. I uh, still have this four to contend with. No, that's right. I bought the boat with the four. So that's done. All right. Next roll. With the white die, we've got a two. So that's going to be placed there. And then either the castle or four points for every boarding house. Well, eventually going to need the castle. So the boarding house bonus needs to go. And then we've got a four and a three to contend with. With the three, I think I'm gonna buy the cows because that's gonna be a nice bonus down here if I get a one. With the four, I think I'm going to have to spend two silverlings buy the market, and then with the four, place the market. That's going to give me six points for completing that. <clears throat> and then I get to take an animal or a ship of my choice. And I do need two more ships, so let's go ahead and take a ship. All right, that turn taken care of. Turn four, round three. And triple threes. That's interesting. All right, so three is empty, four is empty. Either need to get rid of a mine or, let's see, what does that tile do? Oh, and selling goods, you get two silverlings. Yep, we're not selling goods, that's gonna go. That takes care of the three. Now, with a pair of threes, I can place this knowledge tile here for that three which means I don't have to worry about different buildings on building sections. With this other three, however, I don't think I can place anything with this three. 
because I need a one for the cows, and I need a one or a four for the boats, and I have no workers, so I'm just going to have to pass it. That is unfortunate. Alright, here we go. We have a one. So that goes there, and then the city hall gets taken out of the game. Hey, Time Roller, welcome in. Good to see you. How are you doing on this fine Sunday? Uh, I am currently completely messing up Castles of Burgundy solo mode. So uh, I'm definitely going to have to try this again and uh, follow the rules a little bit more closely. But I think I've mostly fixed my mistakes, so going good so far. Okay, so with the one, we'll spend the one. And we're going to place... No, I can't place the that boat there yet because I'm not adjacent. But I can spend the four and place this boat here to make the river connection. So that that's okay. So that'll get me six points for that. And then I get to take a good. That puts me up to three. These two are taken out of the game. And I still don't have five to trade in for a wild black tile, so that's not going to happen. Now we have this one to deal with. With the one, we can place the cows. <laughs> All right, so for the cows, that's going to get four cows here, three cows here for a total of seven. So it's gonna put me at 25. And then six more points for completing that region of animals puts me at 31. And then for completing Now I get to place a black tile directly on the board. So we've got a church, which gets me an animal or a ship, which I do need two more animal tiles. Or a warehouse to sell goods, and I don't want to sell goods. So I think we're going to take the church, and we are going to place the church here. Because I do have the knowledge tile that lets me place like buildings next to each other. So that's that's going to be a legal play. So we're going to take we're going to take the cows as our bonus. We're going to get 6 points for completing that building section, so that puts us at 37. And then for completing another color section, we get to place this final black tile, which I think I want to do here. However, I'm not going to use the warehouse action to sell goods. Because I definitely want to keep those. And I think that's it for round three. Let's clear off the rest of the hexes. Set up for round four. And we're getting close. I mean, not doing this without worker tiles and manipulating dice has been very, very interesting. I will say that. However, this round definitely helped because we've got the two mines and we also have the knowledge tile that gives us a worker along with a silverling. So we do get two workers. Ah, I definitely needed those workers. It has not been fun trying to place the dice as is. All right, with our black tiles, we got some pigs. We've got... What is that? That's a carpenter's workshop. We've got another market. And what else do we have? A carpenter's workshop. All right. Not too impressed with the, uh, the black tiles this round. That's for sure. All right. Place our boats. Which I only need one more boat. To complete the color and get the five point bonus. And then I also only need one more castle to get that bonus. So I'm getting pretty close to getting a decent amount of points as long as I can get the tiles on the board. All right, what buildings are we going to get? We're going to get another carpenter's workshop. 
and then we've got a city hall we've got a church and a warehouse i have gotten one boarding house this entire game my luck of the draw on the building tiles has been horrendous <laughs> Uh, I have no idea how I've managed to uh, get this far with not having that many workers. All right, last but not least, we have our knowledge tiles, which we pulled four points for every town hall and four points for every market, which I think I've only placed one. Yep, I've only placed one. All right, here we go. Start of round four. Let's see if we can complete the board in this round. That would be great. All right, starting off with the white die with a four. So we're gonna place this good in the four depot and then either the church or the boat needs to go away. The church is going to be the tile that goes. So that takes care of our white die. Five and a three. And we have workers, so this really, really helps. Um, I am already going to spend one of those workers. We're going to change the five into a six. Spend that. We're going to place the cows up here, which is going to give me two points plus four points for completing this area up here. So we have crossed the threshold. So that goes back to zero. Our target is now 35. And we get a free action. What can I take is my free action? I think I'm going to take... I think I'm going to take the boat from the one depot. That'll be my free action. Still have a three to spend. With this three, you know what? I take it back. I'm not going to take the boat because that would be a silly move. Let me take this two knowledge tile with the three, place the knowledge tile. That's going to be the smarter move because that is going to get four points and then four points for every city hall that's been placed. I've only placed one, but that's an extra four points. Oh, and you know what? And I missed this knowledge tile over here. I should have gotten four points for those cows, too. So that puts me at 12. All right, moving right along. Uh, let's see, I've got three, five, seven. I have nine tiles left to place, one of them being a castle. So I really need that castle. So I need a two very very badly all right with the white one this is going to come up here we're going to get rid of the carpenter's workshop that will go away white die taken care of and on our dice you've got a five and a six to contend with what i think i'm gonna do i think I am going to take, hmm, do I want the knowledge tile or do I want the mine? I think I want the mine. I'm going to buy the mine with the five. And then with the six, with the six, we're going to change it into a five. So we'll use our last worker there, place the mine, because that will complete that mine space. So that's going to give me four points, so we'll go to 16, and then the comp color completion bonus is taken care of. So that's going to be an extra five points. So now we're on 21. And then for completing that, uh, that color uh, coordination, I get a bonus action. And with that bonus action, I think it'd be a no-brainer to take the castle. All right, we're getting there. We are getting there. OK, 
Okay, white die is a four. So that's going to go here. The ship is going to go away. And then we have a two and a six. I think we will buy the warehouse with the six and place it with the two. Next turn. All right, we've got another four. All right, and then since there's nothing left in four, we go clockwise to five. So this knowledge tile with the market bonus is going to go. And then we have a five and a three. Now I kind of feel bad not getting that knowledge tile. So this is going, it's probably going to come down to the wire in the last round, trying to fish for a knowledge tile. And I have no workers. This is going to be fun. What can I do? I think I'm going to spend two silverlings. And I am going to buy a carpenter's workshop. And then with the five, I'm going to place the carpenter's workshop. Which gets me a building tile of my choice. But oh, that's right. There's a town hall left. We'll do that. And now we have this three, which I don't think I can do anything with the three. Nope, because I've got a one, I've got a two, another one, five, four, and a six. So three does me no well. All right, final roll of round four. This good tile goes into three. The sheep are taken off the board. And then we have a six and a two. Well, the two is going to be a no-brainer. We're going to place the city hall with a two. That's going to complete that color region. So that's going to be four points there. And then completing the color gets us a black tile. So we're going to place the pigs which is going to complete that. So it's going to be four points for the pigs, four points for the placement, and then four points for the knowledge tile. So that gets us past the threshold once again for a bonus action. With the bonus action, we're going to place the castle, which is going to complete the castle action. I don't want to lose that on those points yet. Uh, let's see. Carrying out actions. Oh, carrying out actions is a free decision. Okay, so let me not place the castle yet. Since I can do this in any order. So my bonus action is going to be to actually take this boat. That's going to reset the victory points. This goes down to 30. Okay, which means I don't get to place that castle now. Which is fine. That's completely fine. Because I think I'm going to finish this game with room to spare in round five. All right, let's go ahead and reset the board for the final round. I think, I think this is going to happen. It's going to be close. I think it's going to happen. And considering I'm going to have three workers to play with in this fifth round. This is going to be rather simple. So there's my three workers. And then three silverlings for the three mines that I have out on the board. And then let's go ahead and set everything up. I do have my final castle. So really all that I need is another building and to place that boat. And then I've got it. I mean, cheated a little. <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily say cheated, but uh, incorrectly interpreted the rules to get here. 
So I'm thinking if I play this again, I am for sure going to have to try the more difficult side of the board. Which, that will be fun. And I am setting this up knowing that I am not going to use every one of these hex tiles. Okay, one more knowledge tile. There we go. I think that's everything except the black tiles in the middle. So let's get those out there. Wow, three boats and a goods knowledge tile. There's a heck of a pull. All right, let's do this final round. I think I think we can make this happen. Let's go ahead and roll. So we've got a pair of fours and a two. So this goods tile is going to come here to two and we don't need the castle. So the castle is going to be out of the game. Uh, so that takes care of the white die. No brainer action. Let's go ahead and place the castle. That's going to get two points for the area completion. It's going to be another five points replacing all all of the castles so that puts us at seven and then we get a bonus action for placing our castle which we're going to place the boat so two points for placing the boat it's going to be another five for the boat completion so that puts us at 14. we get to take from any one depot so we'll take from the depot with the three goods these will be out of the game. And then I don't necessarily think I need the wild. So I'm going to hold off on trading in my goods for a wild black tile. Purely because within the next couple of turns, I am definitely going to finish. So with my fours, I am going to buy the bank. With that four, then I'm going to spend two silverlings to buy this knowledge tile. Spend a worker to change this four into a five, and then spend the five to place this final knowledge tile here. Which will be two points for completing the set. Another five for placing all of the knowledge tiles. Then I get a tile from the depot, but I don't need boats. <laughs> all right, so basically I just need to roll a four, five, or a six, and that will be the end of the game. And there it is. So this good would get placed in the five depot. I would get rid of the mine because I don't need it. And then simply spend a worker, change the one to a six, place the bank. And there we have it. Uh, bended the rules a little bit to uh, finish the board, but we got there. So I think I will go through one more playthrough on the more difficult side of the player mat. Uh, trying to follow the rules correctly this time and remembering rules considering <laughs> I missed it on two bonus placements and a bunch of animal points. But uh, I'm going to try this again. So I'm going to take a quick break, reset the board, and we'll have another go at this. Don't go away.
Alrighty, everybody, welcome back. Appreciate you sticking around while I reset the board. So um, for this go around, I'm going to try the harder version of the solo mode. Um, basically, the only difference is, is there are more river spaces to worry about. So basically, you need to build a boat to connect to multiple different regions. And it kind of limits the tiles that you can actually choose while you go along. All right, let me fix my board placement a little bit here. This thing's got just a little bit out of place. <laughs> Trying to fix this on the fly with like the three second delay <laughs> is not fun. Okay, there we go. Move this just a little bit closer. All right, so back to start we've got our one silverling we've got our two workers we've got our three goods that we start with everything's reset target is back at 50. let's see how we do on this harder solo mode following the rules <laughs> and remembering the rules that's going to be the important thing all right so let's take our first dice roll and see where it gets us all right so we start out with a one and a five and a two on the white die so this good's going to come over to two, and then we need to get rid of either the castle or we need to get rid of two points for every uh, completion scroll we get. Uh, considering we're not going to get completion scrolls probably till closer to the end of the game, I think this knowledge tile's going to be the one to go. So let's go ahead and do that. That takes care of our two. Um... So before we get to the actions of our die, we need to place our starting castle. So for the starting castle, I think if I start here, I'm going to have to go heavy on animal tiles. If I start up here, I'll have to go with buildings. If I start here, it'll be knowledge. And then down here, at least it'll be a mine and buildings. So... I think down here in the corner is going to be the best benefit. Especially since I've already rolled a five and can already get that mine and place it. So I think I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to start down here in the corner. All right. So with the five, we'll buy the mine. And with the one, we'll place the mine. So that's going to give 10 points for placing the mine. And then since we completed the color, we get to take a tile from the depot and place it. Following 
base game placement rules. So not anything we want. <laughs> All right. So I think what we need to do is if I take a church, that'll get me an animal tile that I could place here and leave myself open to connect with a boat and open up these two regions here. So that might not be a bad play. I could also get don't want the warehouse and then with that that's the carpenter's workshop and that would get me another building which also would be bad and I could potentially complete this building group here but then I would pretty much be locked into getting either a boat or an animal and I think the the church animal move is going to be my best bet. So let's go ahead and take the church. We're going to put the church here on the two. And then we're going to take these group of four ducks for free as our church bonus. And that's our five and one. All right. Not a bad first first move. Let's see what roll two has in store. We have a two. So two depots getting filled up with goods right now. That's pretty good, but we lose a castle. Not good. <laughs> but with a four and a three, kind of wish I had a building tile. Oh, there we go. I will buy the boarding house with the three and place it with a four. So the boarding house is going to get four extra workers. And I really hope that that's not the only boarding house we see this game. Because <laughs> I really got backed into a corner there. So that spends the four and the three. That does complete the color group. So that is ten points. And then I also get a black tile. But I cannot place it. Because I legally cannot. So do I get to hold it in... Do I get to hold it to build later? Uh, let's see... Choose the tile to place it directly on the board with all of its effects. So I guess use the deck with another color. Yeah, no, it says to place it on the board. So I actually don't think I get to do that. That's a shame. Because <laughs> uh, I could totally use that other castle. All right. So be it. All right, next roll. We have a six. So this good will get placed in the six depot. This warehouse goes off to the side. Now we have a one and a six to play with, which is nice. Because now I can place these ducks over here. Which completes... Actually, do I want to complete it? Do I want to complete that? No, I don't think I want to do that yet. Because I need to open up some real estate. So let's do things in a completely different order here. I think... With the one... I'm going to buy this boat. And then I'm going to spend two workers... To change this six into a two. Place the boat here... which that will give me 10 points for placing the boat. It lets me complete a color. So that means I get a black tile for free, which means I'm going to take this castle, place it here. Scooby with a sneak hydrate. I have not seen you in a minute. How are you doing, Scooby? I hope uh, I hope school's going well and uh, a little um, not as hectic that uh, you actually have the time to be online. Hmm. 
Oh, thanks. My, my voice is getting a little dry, too. But anyway, how are you doing? I have not seen you in a minute. Good to see you. Uh, I was grinding uni work, handed it in a couple of days ago. Well, that's awesome. I have missed seeing you online. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give you a quick shout out. So, uh, Scooby is one of the first people that uh, followed me in the very beginning. Uh, she mostly plays like Valorant and Overwatch, but uh, pretty entertaining to watch. So, uh, go give her a follow if uh, you so choose. Uh, that is when she does decide to get back online. I know she's been busy with school, doing uh, hopefully doing a great job and killing it. So uh, there's there you go. All right, what was I doing? Right, I just placed the castle. So the castle gives me a bonus action, which there I'm going to place the ducks with the bonus action. So that's going to give me four points for the ducks. 10 points for completing that color section and then that's going to give me another black tile which now i don't think i can place nope because i'm going to need a mine a knowledge tile or a boat so i'm just going to have to forego that action uh let's see yeah i'll start streaming again soon as long as my internet will handle it yeah, well, I mean, hopefully so. If uh, if we see you, we see you. That'd be that'd be great. All right. So now to our rolls. We have a one and a four. With the four, I think I'll buy the other boat. And with the one, I will place it. So that's going to get me another ten points. That's going to put me over the threshold. So now we need to reset. Our target goes to 45, and then I get a free action. And for my free action, what I think I'm going to do is I am going to take this other knowledge tile that's on the board, because I am I need to place it to expand even further up, and I think it'll be good to have. And the bonus there is four points for every carpenter's workshop that you've placed. And I haven't placed any yet, but it might come in handy down the road. All right, not, not a bad play there. Let's see what the fourth roll has in store. White die is a five. So this good's going to come over to the five depot. Five is empty. Six is empty. So the carpenter's workshop in one is taken out of the game. Now we have a five and we have a three. With the three, I think I will place the knowledge tile because that's going to give me access to that boat space. With a five, there's nothing to buy in five. So I think I'll spend a worker that's going to change it to a four and I'm going to buy this watchtower and we'll keep that handy. And for the final roll of the round, we've got a one. So this good is going to come in one. There's only one tile left on the board. So these ducks are going to be taken out. And then we have a six and a two to play with. And I think I didn't want to spend another worker right away, but I'm going to have to. We'll spend a worker. The two is going to change into a three. We'll place the watchtower, which that's going to give four points for just placing the watchtower. And then with the six, I don't think I can do anything with the six. So I may just have to forego it. All right. Not a bad first round. At least, at least we're building out. So that's fun. Let's go ahead and get some more tiles for the next round. So let's see, we've got some pigs and we've got some cows. These two black tiles go away. Let me get four new ones. So we've got us a boat. We've got some pigs. We've got three points for every good. And 
Ooh, I have not seen that one in a while. I need to look that knowledge tile up. What does that do? Uh, the player who adds this tile to his estate may adjust any die roll being used to take new six-sided tiles from the game board. Oh, so basically it's a overall, it's a universal worker knowledge tile. I want that. That is going to come in big handy, I think, this game. Especially since workers are hard to come by. That's going to be huge. Oh, we also have the workers count for up to two. Also, also a nice benefit. All right, we got a church. We've got another watchtower. We've got a bank. All right, this is already not looking good. And a market. So apparently the boarding house drought continues. <laughs> Unbelievable. Why is that a thing? All right, got the board set up. Let's go ahead and get our goods out for our round counter. And first roll of round two. So we've got a one on the white die, so that good comes here. And either a boat or the market needs to go away. I think the market is going to go because we definitely need boats to be able to access the entire board. So that takes care of the one. Now with a six and a two. I could definitely use another boat, but I don't want to use a worker to manipulate it. Oh, I forgot we started a new round, and I have a mine. So, we get a Silverling. Which is actually a really, really good thing. Because I am going to spend those two Silverlings and buy the Knowledge Tile. Because, yeah, if I, can, if I can manipulate placing any tile to my estate as if I used a worker, that is going to be a huge, huge benefit. And speaking of that, I'm already going to have to use a worker. So I'll spend one. This two is going to become a one. And we're going to place that knowledge tile. So now we get that added benefit right away. It also completes the color group. So that's going to be eight points for completing the color group. And then we also get to place a black tile. No brainer. Let's take the boat. Uh, with the boat, we are going to go here right in the middle. Because that's going to give us access to this section of three and this section of four up here. So that is not a bad thing. Um, with placing the boat, we get to take goods. So let's take these goods. The rest of these will go away. And then since we have five, I am going to trade them in. And we're going to take this knowledge tile as a wild. Because three points for every good you have at the end of the game, not really a decent benefit. Or three, it'd be three points every time I picked up a good. So I don't think that'd be a decent benefit. All right, so that was that. Hold on, what was I doing? That's right, I placed I placed that worker, that knowledge tile. So that was the one. I still have the six. What can I do with the six? I could buy the church. And then hopefully get this completion up here. So yeah, let's buy the church. And that takes care of that. Next roll. We have ourselves a two. So this good will come over to the two depot. Oh, that's unfortunate. Lose, we, we lose the plus or minus two worker knowledge tile. That's a shame. Okay. That takes care of the white die. But now we have a five and a two. However, I can now manipulate tile placement by one thanks to our knowledge tile here. 
So we're going to place this church here on the six. That's going to complete the color group. So that's going to be eight points. So now we're on 20. And then we get a black tile. However, I don't think I can legally place these pigs because the only spots I have open here are the mine and the two building spots. So the piggies are going to stay there. What I can do is I think I'm going to spend my last worker. It's going to be a gamble. I'm going to change my two into a one buy this boat and then change this five into a four place this boat which is going to give me eight points it's going to give me this good and i still can't place the pigs Unless Nope, I have to keep it there. That's a shame. Eh, no big deal. That's alright. That is okay. Let's take our next roll. So we've got a three. So this is gonna come down here. And then either the bank or the pigs need to go away. I definitely need animals. So I think the bank's going to have to go to the wayside, unfortunately. That takes care of our white die. Now, what I think I need to do... Hmm... I could really use those cows, and I can really use those pigs, but now I have no more workers to manipulate my dice, so I am on my own. Well, let's go ahead and buy the boat with the four. Hold on, what is that knowledge tile there for ten? Oh, you know what? I did that backwards. Okay, this is this is to take tiles and manipulate the result. So then I can't change this 5 into a 4. I can't place that boat. Well then. So that means I need to take 8 points off. So that means I don't necessarily want to buy this boat then. So that's going to go back. But if I can manipulate the numbers by taking dice off the board, that's actually a good thing. Hmm... So then technically to buy this boat before, I would still have a worker. So that actually makes things a little bit easier. I think. I think I'm going to buy this watchtower. That's what I'll do. All right. So we rolled a six. So this good is going to come over here. These cows are going to leave. And we have a six and a five to play with. Well, we'll make use of the five we just got. We're going to place the watchtower. So that's going to get four points plus eight for completing that single section. And then still, no, I can place the pigs now because I have this boat in the middle. So that's gonna go there. Those pigs are gonna get four points. All right, now we're moving. Now we are moving.
I think... I think with the five... With the five, we're going to buy this knowledge tile. And with the six, we're going to place it. So this knowledge tile lets me manipulate the placement of animals or ships by one. So that's going to come in handy. That, I think, is going to be way better off. All right, so this gets placed at one. This boat is going to go away. And the only thing left to buy are pigs. So with the one, with the three, we'll buy the pigs. So that goes up there. And it's a shame I rolled a one. Because I can only change this to a six or a two. So I can't place the pigs. However, I can use my wild tile as a one and place it there. So there we go. Let's set up for round three. This is, I will say, this one's a little bit harder than the initial map, just for the simple fact that you have to rely on boats more for the placement, rather than, you know, just having a couple of rivers connecting all of the, uh, the regions. However, I am definitely going to have to start thinking about uh, these two castles up here because there's potentially only going to be three more castles available and one could go away right away depending on what the dice roll winds up being uh gotta go take it easy no worries bones john i appreciate you hanging around and lurking and i hope you have a great rest of your day wherever it is you are off to all right let's see buildings Ooh, boarding house yes Guys, if I only have a boarding house back on the board, get some workers. That makes me happy. Because it means now I actually stand a chance of finishing this hard map. <laughs> Alright, for animals, we've got cows and more cows. I uh, need to put a mine out there still. So there's our mine, and two new knowledge tiles. So we've got four points for every watchtower, which I've already put out a couple of those. And I have not seen that one. That's knowledge tile number five, which that one down there is going to be... The player who adds this tile to his estate, when adding a ship to their estate... Choose to take goods not from one, but two neighboring good spaces and add them to the storage. That might come in handy. Considering I still have three potential ships left to place. And I already have one in my inventory. So that might be okay. Alright, let's set up our goods for round number three. And let's roll. All right, starting out with a four on the white die. And then either the ship or the market needs to go. The market is going to leave. And then we have a pair of threes to contend with. Okay, so now with our knowledge tile here, we can adjust the ship placement up or down by one. So what I think I want to do is I am going to place this ship here. Now, I'm going to place the ship up here with the four. That would make better use of it. So that's going to get six points. So that puts us at 42. And then we get to place a black tile for free. Which at this point, I think I want to place the bank. So the bank's going to come up here and get placed. So that's going to get me two silverlings. That's going to complete this building group. So that's going to put me over the threshold. So that gets me one additional action for free. And with that additional action, I can manipulate buying by one. So we're going to take this castle. 
Wait, no, it's a it's a free action regardless. So I'm gonna take the castle. That I can do. Then I'm gonna place this other set of pigs because I can manipulate that. So that's actually gonna be a really good play because that's gonna get me. Well, let me reset. Because now we are on forty. That's gonna get me eight points for the pigs. And that's going to get me another six for the color completion. And then I get to place a black tile. Uh, do I have any free spaces to place a black tile, however? Don't think I do. Because it's going to be either animals, which that's closed off, or a building. And the only building spots I have left are up here and down here. So I can't even use it. No big deal. We'll go with it. All right. With this three, the three is going to become a two. We're going to buy this knowledge tile. All right. Next roll. We have a six. So this goes here. And then we need to take one random one off of six. Um, either that bank or the cows need to go. Buildings are way more prevalent, so I think the bank is going to be the tile to be removed. So that takes care of our white six. And now we have a five and a one to contend with. I'm going to use my worker. Change the five into a six. Place the castle. Which is going to give six points. So now we're on 20. We get a bonus action for placing the castle which I think I'm going to take here by placing the knowledge tile. That's going to complete that set for six points. And then I'm immediately going to get four points for every watchtower that I placed. And I placed two. So that's going to give me eight immediate points. We are now sitting on 34. And then for completing the color group, that gets a black tile which I don't think I still can place. <laughs> I really need a boat is what I need. So with my one, I am going to buy this boat up here. And then with the six, I'm going to place said boat. So that's going to give me six points, which crosses me over the threshold again. And with the color completion, I now can place a tile, which I legally can now. This watchtower is going to come up here, which now I need to reset because that's going to give me four points for the watchtower plus four for the knowledge tile down here. And now I think we have a decently well-oiled machine. We are getting really close to completing this. All right, we've got ourselves a five. So this is going to come over here to the five. And then I think the knowledge tile can go because I'm definitely going to need the mine. That is absolutely, and that's actually going to be my turn. We're going to take the mine with the five and we're going to place it with the two. So that's going to be six points for placing the mine. And then I get to place a black tile, which I'm going to place. I'm going to place the sheep. The sheep are going to come up here on the six. And that's going to be four points for the sheep. That puts us on 18. And let's take our next turn. We've got a three. Oh, you know what? I placed a boat before and did not take. Always forgot about the goods and the boat. Those go away. All right. So with a three, this comes over here. And then we need to get rid of cows or the boarding house. <laughs> Obvious answer. Cows are going away. <laughs> um, we're going to take the boarding house with the two. Because the two is going to become a three with our knowledge bonus. However, 
I need one other boat with the five, which will become a four. Buy the boat. All right. Final roll round three is going to be a six. This will come here. The cows are going to go away. And we have a six and a two. So the two can become a three with this knowledge placement here. So that is going to complete all of the boats. So that's going to be five points. So now we go to 23. And that lets us place a black tile. So that means the ducks are going to get placed. That's going to be four points. 27. I'm really going to need to get that castle. All right. What to do with the six and the three? Hmm. Or did I already use them? I think I already used them. No, I did use them. That's that's that. We go into round four. I think round four might be where we finish this supposedly harder map. But we'll see what happens. Still need to get one more mine, two more knowledge, another animal, and heavy on buildings. So let's see. So there's some knowledge tiles. Go ahead and put some animals out, which I'm only going to need one of. You've got ducks, which are good, and pigs. Would have been nice to get sheep. For our black tiles, we got a watchtower, a city hall, four points for every kind of animal we've placed, and a market. Even though I don't need boats anymore, still going to place them purely for removal purposes. So at least we have a, uh, a scapegoat tile so we don't necessarily lose our buildings which is going to be a boarding house. There's all the boarding houses. They're going to come out now. Then a carpenter's workshop. A bank. And a market. All right. Two mines on the board. That's going to be two silverlings. And now we start round four with our roll. Which... We got two, we got a one, a four, and a one. So this good's going to come here, and we'll get rid of the boat, because we don't need any more boats. So what I think we're going to do is I really need to get a boarding house on the board. Oh, hold on. I forgot to place I forgot to place the mine. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna manipulate the four to a five by the mine. Since we could still do that. And then we have this one. Which I think it'd be silly not to buy the boarding house. All right, roll number two. We have a five. So the five goes here. We'll lose this knowledge tile. Then we have a six and a three, which is good. We can place the boarding house here on this six, which gets us four workers. Because now I can really use them. And then... Oh, you know what? I don't have the knowledge tile to place same buildings next to each other. Or within the same or within the same group. I think that's what it is. I can't place buildings. Let's see. Yep, they have to be different. 
I should not have bought that boarding house. That was a waste. That's okay. We'll, we'll roll with it. We will roll with it. All right, so I spent the six. With the three, we're going to place the mine. So that's going to complete that color group for four points. That's also all the mines placed. So that's going to get five points. So we're sitting on 36. And that gets a black tile placement, which I am going to place the watchtower on the one. Because that's going to give four points plus another four. But it's going to go over anyway. It's irrelevant. So this is going to reset. This is going to go to 35. And then we get a free action. Which I think, uh, for my free action, I need different buildings. So I am going to buy this bank. And with two silverlings, I'm also going to buy this animal knowledge tile. And we are good with that. All right, next roll. So here we've got a five on the white and then a three and a one. So with our five, that's where the good tile is gonna go. These pigs are gonna exit, unfortunately. And now we have a three and a one. So with the three, we're gonna place the bank here. So that's going to gain two silverlings. Then with the one. Hmm. With the one. Ooh, spending three workers to turn that into a four is hefty. Really hefty. I think I might have to do it, though. Hmm. I think I'm going to wait on it. I think we'll wait on it. So I really can't do anything with this one. I will simply have to forego it. All right, next roll. So here we have a four. So this goods is going to come over here. We're going to get rid of this boat. Now we have a pair of sixes. Uh, there's nothing left to buy. Shoot on five or one, which is unfortunate. However, I could change this six into a five with one worker. And then further go down to a four by this workshop. And then spend another worker. Change this other six to a five. Place the carpenter's workshop. Which is going to complete the building set for two points. And then that gives me a free black placement. But all the buildings are done. So that's actually going to get me five points there. So that goes to seven. All right, this is really going to come down to the wire. Because I need a castle, an animal, and two knowledge. This is going to be very, very rough. All right, and here we have a two. So this goes here. Oh, we lose the knowledge tile. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Now we have a six and a two. So, I think I'm going to turn the two into a three and buy the ducks. So, we'll do that. And then with the six, I can't use the six either. All right. Into round five we go. So this might come down to the wire. We shall see. If at any point I lose the castle, 
on this space here, it is game over. So I need to make getting that castle a priority. And good, there is a knowledge tile in the black. So I can afford to lose one of the knowledge tiles either in five or two. More likely two. And then really the buildings are being put out purely as fodder. Because truthfully, all I need is castles, animals, and knowledge. And considering the building tiles are with the animals, that is going to help greatly. All right, I think everything has been refilled. No. Knowledge tiles. Almost missed the knowledge tiles. There we go. All right, final round. Let's do this. Hoping for the best here. So we start out with the five. So goods tile is going to come to five and we will get rid of the mine because we have already completed all of our mine tiles. Now, I need one more knowledge tile. So I think I'm going to buy, no, I can't do that. Can't do that. I'm gonna use a worker. This five is gonna become a four and we're gonna place the animal tile. So that is going to give four points for every kind of animal that I've placed. I've got ducks here, I've got pigs here, um, and I've got sheep here. So that's gonna be 12 points right off the bat. So that's gonna put me at 19. So that takes care of my four. With the two, no brainer, I need to buy the castle. Because if I don't get the castle, it is completely game over because this is the final round. So now we have a chance. With the six, we'll place this here. We're gonna get rid of the building because we definitely need the animal tile. And now we have a six and a one. I think we're going to change the six into a five with our last worker here. And we're going to place the castle. And that gives me a bonus action. We're going to place the ducks, which is going to complete the color group for two points. And they get an additional seven for the seven ducks that are on the two tiles. So that puts us at 28. All right. Last but not least. Oh, wait a minute. That's the game. That is the game. Oh, that is the game. Because I completed the animal group, uh, the animal group here for the color, which means I get a free black tile placement, place the knowledge tile, and that does it. Ooh, that was getting hairy right at the end. If I did not get that castle tile, it would have uh, there would have been no point to go on. So um, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this solo mode of Castles of Burgundy. Like, it, it, it definitely has the feel of the original game, but it seems, it just seems almost too easy. Like, if you, if you just get a good string of dice rolls and the right knowledge tiles, it, it, it almost breaks the placement. And I know it tries to keep the, uh, the point of the game where there's other players and they're basically taking tiles that you may or may not need like it does that but not such in a way as far as the two-player game like the right tiles don't the wrong tiles don't go away enough but um once you complete a color group like you just have throwaways and you can easily complete the rest of your player board so i don't know i mean th this 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 was a promo so, I mean, it was it was five bucks well spent, but uh, I don't think I would really play this again voluntarily. It's, uh, I don't know, I guess I didn't really have fun with it, but what can I say? 
<sighs> All right. Well, that's going to be the end of the stream. I did go a little bit over today. Um, I appreciate everybody sticking around with me, hanging out for uh, going through this playthrough of the solo version of Castles of Burgundy. Um, I will be back at it again tomorrow. Um, you know what? I don't know. I don't know if I figured out what I was going to do tomorrow or not. Not sure if I put it on my schedule. Let me look real quick to see if I actually did. Oh, yes, I did. So tomorrow, if you want, at uh, 3 p.m. Pacific, uh, come hang out. I'm going to be playing Jackbox games with chat. So uh, get your tablets, get your devices, get your laptops, whatever you want to use. Um, and, uh, and we'll hang out and play some Jackbox games for a few hours. So uh, hang around for that. Um, I appreciate everybody stopping by and hanging out with me today. Um, shout out to uh, all my fellow streamers that came in. Scooby, Mighty Migs. I know we don't know games hung out for, for a little bit. I know I didn't give them a shout out, but let me do that real quick. We'll do that. And uh, I will see everybody tomorrow afternoon. Take care. Mm -hmm.